will be discussing about material used for ship building so let's see what are the material used for ship building so the classification society published the rules and regulation for the strength of ship and what are the material that we need to use so the class we, here the for selection of a material the classification societies and their rules and regulations are very important well so because they standardize the material that we are taking for ship what are the materials that we need to take for the ship building and all so the classification societies they publish rules and regulation for the strength of ship for mild steels mild steels or we can call it low carbon steels mild steels we can call it low carbon steels these are used in, in several grades because for ship structure mainly because of mechanical properties and low cost so mild steels or low carbon steels used for ship building and all because of mechanical their mechanical properties and low cost because steep there are mainly four grades of steels specified by the classification societies based on the degree of notch toughness on the basis of the degree of notch toughness classification societies divided the mild steels into four grades four grades of steels Le notch toughness means it is the ability of material to absorb energy in the process of a flow if there is a flow the ability of material to process to absorb energy that is known as notch toughness so here what what you did is mild steel or low carbon steels are used in ship construction because of me me its their mechanical properties and low cost mainly four grades of steels are specified on the basis of degree of notch toughness a notch toughness is ability of a material to process or absorb energy in presence of a flow the four grades that i mentioned is a grade a grade b grade d grade e so we can say a b d e okay a b d e here a, a grade a having least notch toughness and grade d having latest notch toughness so grade four grades are there grade a b d e and grade a having least notch toughness and grade, grade d having highest notch toughness and high tensile steels will have higher strength than that of mild steel so in more stress region in of large tankers and container ship and bulk area high tensile steels are used we know that we here we, we can understand that high tensile steels which will have higher strength than mild steel so in the more stress area like in the having like large containers or bulk carrier or tankers and all we can use high tensile steel okay high tensile steels my, they have more strength than mild steel so used in uh, more stress area like uh, bulk carrier container and large tankers so aluminum alloy if i'm going to aluminum alloy we can say when compare with steel uh, it is having advantage means on the basis of its weight because it is much lighter than that of steel most of the aluminum alloys in shipbuilding are 5083 type of four plates and 6082 for extrusion okay aluminum alloy means they are used in the shipbuilding in the ship, ship construction material used for ship construction because of the when compared with mild, mild steel means on the basis of their weight they have great advantage because they are having light weight so th that is one of the great advantage because we can reduce the weight so here most used aluminum alloys in the shipbuilding are 5083 and uh, 5083 type for the plate for the plate structure we use 5083 type aluminum alloy and for the extrusions small extrusions and we use 6082 so here aluminum alloys 5083 for plates and 6082 for extrusion so let, uh, here what we can say aluminum alloys major advantage mean over mild steel is their weight because they are much lighter in weight and most commonly used aluminum alloys in shipbuilding are 5083 type for plate and 6082 for extrusion so what are the different types of materials used in different parts of ship let's see let's shell plating we use steel plate for shell plating we use steel plate and for superstructure that's mainly most of our superstructures and all the ship aluminum alloys we, in the passenger ship and all we use aluminum alloys because we need to reduce weight then in watertight doors we use mild steel or cast steel for watertight doors we need to we need to make in a proof so that it should be sent to certain criteria so that we need to, to make the material on that basis of that so we use mild steel or cast steel for watertight doors for stain frame we use cast or forged cast forged or fabricated or steel from steel plate so for stain frame we use cast forged or fabricated form of steel plate so these are the materials for shell plating we use steel plates for a superstructure we use aluminium especially in the uh, cruise ship and door for passenger vessel and door and watertight doors we use mild or cast steel for stain frame we use cast forged or fabricated steel plate we can use so shell plate shell plating we can say steel plates we will be using steel superstructure we will be using aluminium watertight door mild steel or cast steel stain from we will be we can use cast forged or fabricated steel and for rudder stock we use cast or forged steel for rudder stock we use cast or forged steel for propeller copper alloys such as brass so these are the main rudder stock cast or forged steel propellers co copper alloy or brass thank you these are some of the basic materials used for shipbuilding